discuss some of the major developments of down to earth this time so the first topic we talk about is heat waves now heat waves we have seen that the frequency has significantly increased it was previously once in a 1000 year and now it is said that it would become an event every 5 to 10 years so a significant development and in this heat dome is one of the topics that we have covered separately very very important how heat domes are formed and how do they function uh, we would again talk about about it in a while the next is cloud bursts have been linked to forest fires we have seen that uh, the concentration of ccn which is the cloud concent condensation nuclei uh, is very very higher they have nearly five times higher concentration in an atmosphere during the time there is a forest fire now this has been linked significantly to the amount of cloud burst also we have seen that the people living on the land less than two meters above the sea level has become significantly higher nearly 267 million people live on a land which is less than two meters above sea level and therefore with rising water levels this could become a significant issue the project of the central vista which has been uh, going on in the capital city of india has been brought into light by jane jacob now jane jacob's work is important her book death and life of great american cities talks about the uh, town the town where she was born and that was scatton in pennsylvania which is also the hometown for geo biden and this was where she talked about how the uh, scenarios worsened over the years now with the central vista redevelopment we uh, the planners have been focusing on a similar mega development uh, project and uh, activism against that so that focuses on changing the urban scape the next is the single use plastic directive the, in the whole of european union there is now a directive that all uh, the uh, there would be a complete ban on the sale of uh, let's say year by district straws cutleries and vessels which are made of plastics even the oxo degradable plastics would not be allowed the sole reason for this is because the oxo degradable plastics also break down into microplastics which is harmful for the atmosphere now if we talk about the vaccination under covid uh, we have seen the covid vaccination is uh, uh, having a huge disparity between males and females is if you can see this graph uh, most of the African nations are the nations where a significantly higher male population is vaccinated as against the European and the uh, American nations where the proportion of female uh, vaccination is much higher. If we talk about Father Stan Swami, he was one of the activists who was against the anti-mining and had been working mainly for it. China recently has been declared by WHO as malaria free. That means there has been no new cases for the last four years similarly algeria argentina paraguay and el salvador are now malaria free india needs to definitely work on this very very soon the next is near the bharti station of antarctica the indian station in antarctica we have identified a new moss species which is bryum bharthianus and this is a species which is a new plant species in the eastern area of antarctica this indicates that Antarctica is now turning green and developing uh, condition which could be suitable for human growth, uh, for uh, life growth, sorry. The next is geotextile. Now, this is a new concept where we use synthetic fiber fabrics. Now, these synth synthetic fabrics can be either woven or non-woven. And the idea is the ice glaciers when covered with this geotextiles reduce the rate of melting. And this is some of the experiments which have already been done in the Presena glacier in Italy uh, also in the glaciers of Swiss Alps but covering the whole of the glaciers is a very very expensive uh, uh, proposition and practically not possible the next is cold based power plants in India now if it is very very alarming that it is a single industry which utilizes 70% of the freshwater resources 
that India has for its consumption the, of the total industry 70% of the fresh water consumption goes with the coal based power plants and why it is used there are four purpose the first purpose is the power production in which the coal is burnt in the boiler uh, to produce the steam the next is the cooling of the steam the slacking of the coal and then the domestic usage so here are the four important use where this water is used now again there is once through cooling system once through cooling system means the water is goes in from the fresh water reservoir and then it creates the steam and the hot water gushes back to the water bodies now this hot water creates a thermal gradient and a thermal pollution and impacts the region so there have been ideas that this should be restrained and there should be a cooling tower system which should be brought into account also if we can conserve 33 23 million cubic uh, cubic meters of water every year this would be equal to the total water consumption of a country like Djibouti. So we need to find out ways that if coal power, the water which is utilized in coal power is actively used, efficiently used, how we can handle it better. Again, the consumption rate limit was 2.5 uh, meter cube per megawatt hour. Now this was raised to 3.5. There has been a significant increase in the proportion of the consumption rate but we also need to know at the same time that most of the consumption of the water is seen through the government owned units so how water stress districts have most of the coal based power plants and even the government owned power plants are some of the least efficient power plants as per the studies have revealed now the ganga river again one of the major rivers that we focus across the globe a river that connects or uh, goes through nearly 11 states holds nearly 29 percent of the land uh, population that it provides water to and sustains 43 percent of the total population of the country now this was the river where we had witnessed the dead bodies moving and it has been brought into light by conservationists that if this continues or if this was an impact this could have brought in significant impact on the aquatic life turning uh, the COVID viruses into the aquatic organisms. Now, uh, the WHO study has say, said that virus transmission for COVID cannot take place through water, but it always maintained that this can be an important carrier. So, we need to understand that even in Florida, there were numerous death of seals which were found in one of the aquariums and that was due to coronavirus induced hemorrhagic pneumonia. So, there can be a significant threat to our uh, aquatic ecosystem the next is sabza sabza is nothing but the seed of tulsi or basil now this is considered uh, known for its medicinal properties known for weight loss known for treatment of runny nose sore throat and also uh, this is important because it is believed that it has a huge amount of dietary fiber which gives a significant feeling of satiety also it helps to deal with constipation and uh, manage diabetes it is rich in mucilage which is the dietary fiber uh, the most important thing about tulsi is it can be grown even in the water stressed area nowadays organic farming for tulsi or basil has been uh, given a significant importance and the farmers have been doing significantly good ram and sham tulsi are the two varieties which are considered as holy tulsi however we also have the sweet basil which is more preferred and also used for aromatic purpose the next is the heat domes heat domes or the monster waves we have already covered in the separate class as we mentioned in the very beginning of this lecture uh, some of the important things that we need to understand here is the scroaching temperature which is uh, ever rising mainly in the regions of european union in the regions of america and canada is very very very, uh, very very astonishing even in India the 90 years record has been broken by the capital Delhi itself where the temperature rose to nearly 44 degrees Celsius it, it was very close to 44 degrees Celsius and this was the highest temperature recorded in last 90 years in Canada because of the significant extreme weather conditions there has been 1 billion uh, 
marine animals which have been affected similarly we have seen that uh, the lancet report says that because of this extreme weather conditions the extreme cold or the extreme hot conditions there can be 5 million global deaths annually of which nearly 4 uh, 0.48 million would be due to extreme heat conditions and the remaining due to the extreme cold conditions the next important is the new member species that we say and that is homo longi which is also known as dragon man now this species is very very important this chart shows the origin from primates to gorilla and then we have the various species as you can see the australopithecus is considered as a closer species but the recent studies have shown that homo longi which is the dragon man is the closest species to homo sapiens much more closer than neanderthals and therefore it is now considered as one of the closest relatives now herbin cranium is one of the samples which was recorded and studied to identify the species and this species was the dragon man species or the homo longi we would come to it in a while the interesting story about us is that her Harbin cranium which was identified was found by a construction worker and this construction worker basically hid it somewhere and did not disclose that he has discovered a unique cranium later on after his death in 2018 the family members donated it to the university which was the habai geo university and the studies of the habai geo uh, uni, uh, the habai geo university in 2018 revealed that this uh, species is very very close to homo sapiens now this was first identified and this cranium was first found in 1933 so a significantly uh, long wait we could say was seen besides this there are numerous other similar species for example nesher ramla is a species from israel which is considered as a very very new entrant into the system homo longi from china you have homo luzonensis which is from philippines and uh, another important uh, species which is homo nalendi and this is from south africa now these four are the new entrants into the system there are the three main uh, species through which we understand the paleo paleostean human beings now these are the homo sapiens the homo neanderthals and a group containing the chinese fossils which are mainly the dali uh, the zia and the jinshua now uh, the clade which is the origin root for all these species runs through this and homo longi is now placed into the third clade if we talk about the cranial capacity the brain size is again important the brain size of homo neanderthals is very very close to human beings the size is nearly 1500 cm square now this uh, the herbin cranium which was found is very unique because it has a brain capacity very close to homo neanderthals and it is 1420 cm uh, cubic centimeters the broad uh, the face the upper part of the face is broad uh, then there is uh, a smaller height in terms of the facial height the cheekbones are very very delicate and therefore has very close resemblance to homo sapiens neanderthals and Den uh, denisovians are basically considered so far as some of the closest relatives of human species but with the dis discovery of homo longi through this har harbin cranium we now believe that dragon man is one of the closest relatives to homo sapiens so this was about the discussion for down to earth for today we would be covering down to earth every fortnightly the topics covered are very very important some of the most important topics from this edition are the monster waves the omega block which is formed because of the jet streams uh, that's the heat dome the whole story of heat dome then we focus on the homo longi and the nesher ramla which is the species from israel both of these primate species and their identification their characteristics and the harbin cranium are some of the important stories uh, we would be covering many further important topics stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead